today I am doing a little bit of a different kind of video. In light of recent events, um, we are all in our homes, hopefully, stuck in our homes. And um, for a lot of people, and for me sometimes, it's very hard, I think, to um, find the motivation to be productive when you're stuck at home for days on end. But I thought I'd offer some of my uh, pro tips and um, have a day where you guys can kind of spend a day with me being productive because I've got a lot to get done today and thought I would bring you guys along and show you how I can, how I try to stay productive during, um, self-isolation really. I thought firstly before we get into it I'd show you guys some of my pro tips on uh, th little things that I do to stay productive and help me stay in a productive mindset. So let's see it. So pro tip number one is to crack open a window. This might seem like a given but it's good to remind yourself that there is a whole world out there and also it lets some air in to keep you fresh and motivated. Pro tip number two, tidying your room. I see you, okay? Again, it might be sounding like a mum, but it's true that you feel more productive when you have a tidy room. So make your bed and put away that pile of clothes that you keep switching from your chair to your bed. Next up, change out of your pajamas. I normally change into exercise clothes because they make me feel energized and also have the added bonus of convincing me to actually work out later. Yeah, no pajamas. And then next up, keep a drink close by. Keep a cup of your preferred beverage with you while you work. It reminds you to stay hydrated and it is a nice way to take small breaks here and there to drink it. I normally go for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and also always a bottle of water. Next up, distractions. Stay away from temptation, you guys, which for me is my Animal Crossing switch and my new Animal Crossing. So yeah, the way that I deal with this is to literally keep it away from my sight. There we go. And now, keeping a realistic to-do list. My bullet journal is my best friend during these times because it not only reminds me of what actual day it is, but I can also spread out my tasks over a weekly spread to make each day's task list more realistic and attainable. At the beginning of every week, I normally look at my whole weekly spread and I try to allocate different tasks each day. This not only keeps me motivated because I'm doing different things every day and it mixes things up a little, but it also makes sure that I don't try to do everything in one day and overwork myself and then have nothing to do on the other days. So spread out your tasks, it makes them more attainable, more realistic, and makes you feel more motivated. So the first task for my day was, as I said previously, recording a voiceover for a video that already came out on my channel. It was a 10 art styles challenge if you guys want to go watch it. And now I finished my first task, which was film a video uh, that I've been meaning to film for ages and I kept not having time because of uni. But now that I'm at home, uh, filmed it, done it, um, and perfect timing because now it's lunchtime and um, yeah I've got some other things to do today um, I've got to fix some animation scenes uh, for Devon's short film uh, I've got to uh, edit two scenes from my short film and uh, film this video which I'm already doing <laughs> and then I'm working out with Devon at 4 p.m. working out is probably the highlight of my days recently because it's the most my body moves <laughs> nowadays <laughs> I think before lunch I'm not very hungry yet because I did unfortunately wake up a little bit later than I was expecting today so I'm gonna do my emails uh, right now and then I'll go for lunch. What I like to do with my tasks uh, on a day like this is to actually like intertwine them so doing a very big task and then doing a small task and then doing another very big task and then a small task this basically makes uh sure that i don't overwork myself or go into burnout very early in the day and then actually not do anything else for the rest of the day so this way you're actually like keeping a healthy mindset and not overworking yourself so i'll normally do like for example today i did a very big voiceover task and now i'm doing emails and admin and emails and admin aren't that intense they're just going through all my emails because I'm very bad at keeping my emails and maintaining those so and I like to allocate a whole part of my day to doing them and yeah and this way I'm you know taking a break kind of from doing a very big task with a smaller task but I'm still being productive 
in terms of my emails, I'm really bad at maintaining them. I'm really bad at just answering emails and, you know, just cleaning them up. So I like to take a moment out of my week to actually go through all my emails, answering emails that I need to answer, deleting emails I need to delete, and it just, you know, I don't really have to worry about it for a few days. And yeah, it can be emails, it can be tidying your room, it can be uh, cleaning your desk or cleaning your, uh, your, your, I don't know, doing laundry. A smaller task um, that you can, you know, interlock in between very much bigger tasks. One hour later. Lunch was acquired. Yeah, some madness went down a little bit as well, just while I was down there. Classic quarantine things. Um, so now, after lunch, it's time to get back to work. Um, and I'm doing some animating now for Devin's short film. So now I'm just gonna set up my little graphic display tablet to get some work done for that. So after lunch, I like to allocate my uh, big tasks that don't require much brain work, right? So this could be like animating, which is what I am doing here. Uh, because basically uh, animating, especially if you're doing like line work or coloring of a scene, it doesn't require much brain work. It's just very repetitive work that you just, you know, you just kind of do on autopilot. So I like to put on a podcast. Podcasts are a very big thing for me uh, in keeping me productive. Uh, basically. And they keep me distracted and motivated and awake, especially after lunch when you uh, feel a little bit woozy and you feel like having a nap and it's like, no, gotta do the work, grind never stops. So I like to pop on a podcast and do my work while I listen to it. Keeps me awake, keeps me motivated, and it just makes time go by much faster when you're doing a very large task. And it also uh, is not as big as of a distraction as if you're having like YouTube videos in the background, because YouTube videos will distract you from your eyes, from the task you're actually doing. Whereas podcasts, you're just listening to them and you don't really have to do much with the rest of your brain, I guess. And it also has the added bonus that you have an extra screen. For me, personally, I have an extra screen to keep up, like, I don't know, character sheets and stuff when I'm animating. So I just have more of a work area, if that makes any sense. And podcasts that I've been listening to recently that I really enjoy having on while I work are And That's Why We Drink. It's a really nice true crime and paranormal podcast. I really love the hosts. It's very funny. I also love No Such Thing as a Fish and um, How Did I Get Here by Jay from Day 6. I also really love just re-listening to My Dad Wrote a Porno because I've listened to it like five times so I know the plot and everything. I just really like having it on to get me in a good mood. It's so funny. And I really recommend it if you haven't uh, heard it before. So, yeah, just a bunch of podcasts that I really, really like. TMG is also a nice one. Uh, so yeah, there's nothing better after a task than to go in and give that sweet, sweet check on that box. Ticking off a box of a, of, on a to-do list is one of the most satisfying things on the planet, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, after I finish a task, I like to go into my bullet journal and take it off. I always have my bullet journal at hand for these kinds of things. And another thing that I wanted to mention is habits trackers. They're really, really good in keeping you motivated and productive. I always have a page at the beginning of every month where I track all my habits in my bullet journal. And this can be, I don't know, exercising, doing uni work, reading, whatever it is that you want to implement into your regular schedule or daily life, habits trackers are really nice for this. After you finished um, completing a habit for any given day, you can go in and color that day in and you feel rewarded, you feel proud of yourself for doing it, and you just feel like doing it again the next day. And this is a very, very nice way to keep yourself motivated and kind of like giving yourself goals, which is very, very important when working um, by yourself at home. And of course, these don't work for everyone, I'm aware, but these work for me and I thought I'd mention them. In case you want to try them out, maybe they'll work for you. So yeah, after um, I finished ticking off my other task, it's time to go on to my next task, which is actually working for my short film. Earlier I was doing some um, 2D animation for Devin's short film, and now I'm working on my short film, which is stop motion. And this means that recently I've been doing a lot of work on After Effects, I'm currently in post-production for it, so it's just a lot of sitting down and de-rigging and removing all the wires from my puppets on After Effects. And again, this is very like kind of boring, repetitive work, and just staring at a 
laptop for many hours. So this is where podcasts come very much into handy again for me. Uh, it's just it keeps me um, productive and it keeps my brain awake when I'm just looking at the same thing for hours. Another thing that I want to mention is to take breaks and uh, stretching. I personally am very bad at this and I'm trying to do it more and more recently, which is taking a break, stretching out a little bit, going into your window and breathing in some fresh air. And for me personally, I've been trying to take breaks and stretch my wrist a lot because I've been getting really bad RSI uh, on my wrist recently and doing this mouse work on After Effects is a very new thing for me. So it's been giving me my wrist some troubles. So I've been trying to take breaks regularly, stretching my wrist, having some water and continuing. This also makes sure that you can work for longer because it's like a marathon. If you pace yourself and you take breaks to breathe and to relax, you will be able to concentrate and be productive for longer. So yeah, this is my last task of the day pretty much. And after I do that, I like to uh, unwind with some exercise. Now, I know that exercise isn't for everyone, but I do want to like set you a little bit of a task and try to do a little bit of exercise every day after you finish working, whether it be a little bit of stretching or a little bit of yoga, or if you like exercise, maybe like a full on Jane Fonda workout like me and Devon have been doing recently. It depends on what your body likes and what you feel like you can do but moving your body a little bit really is really important especially when you've spent the whole day working at your desk which is a lot of what I do unfortunately I really like doing some exercise at the end of the day it I can really feel my body thanking me for doing it and it just makes me feel relaxed and peaceful it has really amazing benefits on my mental health which it, during these crazy weird times mental health can deteriorate very easily so keeping in touch with your body and your mind is very important. Me and Devon keep doing um, either yoga or high intensity workouts or Jane Fonda workouts or just something a little bit more chill out or Pilates. We, we like to mix things up a little but always doing something fun. We work out together so we'll work out with a friend if you can or put on some music to make it a little bit more exciting but I do really recommend that you move a little bit whether it be before you start working or after you work. It also has the added bonus that you sleep better at night and then feel motivated to work the next day and be productive. So, sorry in advance for the tiny little clips of me and Devon working out. No one looks good while they're working out. Okay, let's just cut to the chase. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go! I just need to train my lungs to not have asthma. <laughs> Woo! Alright guys, that was the first round. Huh? Take a quick second for what? what? <laughs> We're good, we did it! A little bit extra today. Take a second to stand up nice and tall. Squeeze your shoulders up to your ears. Take a deep breath in, smile. And then exhale, <laughs> square the wrists or bring the palms together. Just finding this nice angle. forward fold, bend the knees. Thanks for joining us. Later. And after a very nice relaxing shower after a workout, I normally feel productive again after working out. Don't know about you guys, but sometimes I do. And um, whether that be, you know, drawing or playing on your Switch, whatever it is, I always try to do something productive after my shower, um, but something that I enjoy and that helps me kind of zone out a little bit. So drawing is always the go-to for me. And um, yeah, don't forget to do self-care, which is a very important thing that some of us might forget in these crazy, crazy times, but self-care is always important moisturize take care of your loads of hair that you may have and um yeah just don't forget to take care of yourself take a, like half an hour just for yourself so i'm gonna go and draw for a bit and then spend the rest of the evening maybe playing animal crossing knowing that i've been productive all day and it kind of removes all the guilt of doing whatever it is you want to do um after you've done all the work uh, sort of a reward if you will there's not really much else I want to say. I just wanted to kind of have you guys with me on a productive day. I've done a lot today, which is really nice. Um, and now I get to, you know, relax a little bit. Don't forget that, you know, this is a temporary thing that, um, you know, keep a mindset 
a productive mindset, aka try to, you know, think like you're still at work or at uni or at school and just uh, try to try to take things make things as normal as you possibly can so whether that be following your school schedule at home or trying to do whatever it is you would do at university at home if you can if you have the the supplies and the the home lifestyle that you may have just try to normalize your daily life as much as possible so the productivity is still there and yeah don't forget there's a world out there just why i keep my window open so i can still you know smell the outside and hear the outside and feel the breeze from the outside <laughs> stay sane try to stay sane and um take care of yourselves i hope this video helped a little bit i hope uh you feel a little bit more inspired to be productive and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye